So as forensic scientists, we know that our work really can make a difference in individual lives. So whether that means we can provide more information to the police so they can make your community safer, or we can solve more missing persons cases and bring closure to more families, our goal's the same, to be able to make these processes better so that we can really make that difference in people's lives. So my name is Dr Cherie Hughes-Stam and I'm a forensic biologist here at Sam Houston State University and my work really is to look at improving the ways that we do DNA identification for really challenging samples. So whether that be a very small trace amounts of DNA that are left at a crime scene, or this may be from weapons or explosives for example, or whether that's highly decomposed and degraded human remains, my pursuit is pretty much the same, to get more genetic information from less sample. Now the aim of that, of course, is to get more complete DNA profiles so that we've got more probative evidence for forensic investigators that can then solve more cases. So one of the challenges in forensic research is ensuring that our samples are as authentic as possible. We want them to mimic real world situations so that our research can transition into the laboratory. So, for example, when we're at the shooting range, we are recovering DNA from handled weapons in the cartridges so that we can try and then identify who's been handling that weapon and possibly then involved in a possible crime. In terms of um, explosives, we are creating the scenario of being able to identify possibly who may be making those bombs. Three, two, one. So by partnering with other law agencies, we're able to get at least mimic some of those scenarios as closely as possible. So if we can um, enhance our collection methods and our processing methods in the laboratory to get more DNA from those really precious samples, then that will give us more complete STR profiles so that then we have more information for the police to be able to identify who possibly handled that weapon. Now some of the challenges scientifically are that the samples that we're working with are often the worst of the worst. So we've got very small amounts of DNA and highly degraded DNA, and of course that makes DNA typing extremely difficult. But that's what we're here for, for researching, to try and develop all of those types of protocols that improve that, embrace new technology, and partner with people like Kaijin to be able to help solve those problems in our workflow. So with the challenging types of samples that we use, it's really important to have a reliable workflow from start to finish. So everything from sample preparation through to generating a DNA profile, Kyogen have a working solution at each step of the way. So from DNA extraction and then DNA quantification and STR typing, the Kyogen products work beautifully together to give us more information about the quantity and quality of the DNA so we can make more informative decisions on how we process those samples. So one of the most rewarding parts of my job is to be able to work as a team. So whether that is my graduate students working together in the field, all coming together for a common project, or partnering with law enforcement agencies, local crime laboratories, or vendors just like Kyogen, together we can work together and provide solutions and improvements to workflow to be able to help the criminal justice community. I mean, that's really exciting. Kyogen. Sample to insight.